Hey, good afternoon, everybody. John here at Havoc Maker Studio. Hoping you guys are having a great day. It is almost the first official weekend of November, which means that the weekly giveaway contest that I talked about last month is going to go into effect. Now, I'm gonna put up a little bit of information about that at the end of this video, and more will follow tomorrow. Uh, but before we get there, let's talk about uh, a few things going on. So first up, let's talk about Star Wars, uh, really specifically Star Wars Legion and uh, Atomic Mass Games. Now, we've we, they've had some problems in the past we've covered it we've even gotten it wrong we as in me have gotten it wrong some of the information um and they've addressed it here and there along the lines but they're came out with a more of an official one just a, a day or so ago and it, they addressed that they're aware of some issues with their recent star wars legion battle force releases and of course there are other ones that they've already addressed um and in the interim, they provided uh, print and play solutions for non-essential components right now. So, hey, we've got this temporary fix and we are working on figuring out what the production issues are and we're going to fix all that up later. And of course, you know, people are noticeably upset and that, uh, of course, they want the fixes now. They wanted the fixes as soon as it was discovered and which totally makes sense. But in their defense, and usually I don't like to defend necessarily a company. If you screw up, you screw up. But in their defense, A, they've, they've recognized it. And they put out something uh, that people really should be paying attention to. And where like companies like, say, Games Workshop, Warlord Games, even... <laughs> even privateer press, they won't sit there and go, hey guys, we messed up. We're making these corrections. Here's a temporary fix. We messed up. No, they'll do some, they'll either ignore it or they'll do some funny James workshop video to try to cover up their, their mistakes. Well, in the case of games workshop, there's right now they're, I, I could go on and on about them. They, they're now back in the hot seat for me messing things up. But at least Atomic Mass Games comes out, identifies the issue, and addresses it. And at least creates a temporary fix before they do a permanent fix. So that aside, something that we, as uh, the, the consumers, the hobbyists, the gamers, whatnot, we need to understand that this isn't like an easy day one fix and they can't necessarily go, oh, Todd so-and-so on Facebook said there was this issue or we received a an email from Brenda and that says that they had an issue with this. We need to identify what the issue is. Is it just one person? Is it an isolated incident or is it multiple incident incidents instances? Regardless, either one of those will work. And then they need to figure out where the source of that problem is. They need to address that problem. And then before they can address that problem, that's going to take time, money, and resources, including manpower. And then you have to push other things back. You have to reschedule other projects, or you might have to take time. It could just be a day or two of phone calls back and forth and emails but that's still time off of other projects. So it requires more than just a, hey guys, we're, we messed up day one. We figured, we saw Todd and Brenda's messages and it must affect every single person out there. So we're going to just jump on it right here, right now. And we're just not going to do it. And we're going to be doing all of our other work on top of it. It takes time and it takes resources, and then they have to find, they have to investigate, they have to find the faults, they have to address the faults, they have to make sure that they don't happen again, and then start having a workaround for the people that have already purchased the stuff and have purchased or will be purchasing the stuff that's still in store with the mistakes. So this stuff takes time, and, and in this society that we have now, this instant gratification, we, we, we tend to expect, hey, I have a complaint. I'm going to put it on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, and I expect it to be addressed right here, right now. 
Well, tough. <laughs> You're not going to get it, guys and gals. It's going to take time. Even video games are like that. Hey, you know what? We figured out there is an issue. There is a bug here. We're going to have to uh, go ahead and take a look at that. It's going to take some time. We can't just patch it the, within 30 minutes of you going, hey, we found a bug. It's not that simple. This takes time. And, and you know, with video games, you have to make sure that whatever bug that you fix doesn't affect other bugs or not other bugs, but other parts of the program, which would and then entail create bugs. And I, now, mind you, I'm not dismissing um, anybody's uh, being upset with uh, any product from any company, because I most certainly have have been on that end of, uh, of the equation and have complained about it. And I'm not dismissing that having been there, but I think we need to slow down a little bit on the consumer side and give companies like this a chance to correct it, especially companies that are way more transparent in addressing these issues than some of the bigger companies out there. So I'm not admonishing you. I know it might sound like it, and I'm not saying that you're wrong or anything. I just want you guys, to, some of you, some of you, it's a minority of, of, a, of the niche, of the hobby, of the, the community that is um, understandably upset, but that's really addressed towards them. If it doesn't affect you, then just blow it off, <laughs> blow this whole thing off and let's get on to the next segment because I think that's more important for some of you guys. Let's talk about the Blob and Pyro uh, Team Tactic cards and then we'll get on to something a little bit more interesting for you guys that are here for the giveaways. So first up, we have Pyrotechnics. It's an unaffiliated card. It is active. Pyro can spend X power to play this card and for each power spent you get to choose an enemy character with the incinerate special condition which we know that he passes incinerate around like it's candy um within three inches or sorry, three inches range three of him each chosen character drops one objective token it's holding and has pushed um range s away from pyro i think that is a cool power uh, this give, makes him a lot more versatile. I mean, he's already fairly versatile in dealing damage and passing out incinerate and a couple of other things that we've covered in a previous video when we talked about Pyro. But this is a very good card to have for him. I, I really see if you're going to be running Pyro, that's almost um, a guarantee you're going to have it. Then we have Leapfrog, which is interesting. It's going to have multiple requirements to do so. It's unaffiliated once again. Even though it's unaffiliated, it's really affiliated because you have to have the Brotherhood or you have to have at least Toad and a Blob in there. Anyways, after an allied Toad deals damage with an attack, an allied Blob and Toad may spend one power each to play the card. Blob may advance short range and make a strike attack. Kind of cool. Uh, having that, f I don't want to say free um, movement and attack ability, but... An out of sequence move and attack ability is kind of nice because you just attacked with Toad and um, it could be your first action with Toad and then you can activate this, get the blob to, to move forward and do an attack and then finish up your attacks with or your actions with the Toad depending on even the act, the the results of the blob moving forward and attacking. So it's not a free movement. It does cost two power, but to be able to do an out of turn move and attack, that's basically two actions for two power and out of turn sequence, even if you've already activated blob. Um, that's, I think that's a really, <laughs> that's a really good one, especially if you are going to be running toad in that group. Uh, then we have brace for impact, man, leapfrog just sounds really good. Brace for Impact is another unaffiliated. It is reactive. If one or more allied characters would suffer a, uh, a collision, they can spend one power to play the card. Um, characters that spent power do not suffer damage from that collision. That's kind of a good card for really, I would say, anybody. Um, I don't... I don't know about you guys, what your experience is with collisions. This is this for me. It falls along the same lines as uh, having terrain as line of sight blocking. 
I, I don't encounter it all that often. Usually my, my characters are scattered far enough that I don't get any collisions. But, I'm, but everybody's games are different. We know that thousands of games are being played. So maybe he has a different experience. Um, but just out of curiosity, for those of you that do encounter collisions a little bit more uh, than anybody else, or at least it seems that way, let me know down in the comments below. I mean, how do you deal with that? Is this going to be a card that's going to be good for you to have? Or is it just... Um, I don't know, just a, <laughs> just a waste of one of your 10 team tactic cards. All right, so let's talk about the giveaway. So um, I've been talking about this for a while now, and we got a bunch of stuff that's going to be coming up for it. Um, the I've got about, I haven't figured out the price yet, but I'm, I'm saying that we have at least got around $1,000 worth, or sorry, $500 worth of product, probably pushing $1,000, and a very special uh, giveaway at the end if we hit, hit a certain goal, or if we hit that goal before, right? Which would be well over a $1,000 giveaway. Um, now, the giveaways are going to happen every week. I'll be doing a drawing on every Saturday between November 5th and December 31st. And each of those weeks, we will have a just at least one item go out. Sometimes I might just accidentally toss in two small ones like some Reaper Minis or some paintbrushes. You might get two instead of one. But beyond that, we're going to be doing double and triple and a big giveaway if we hit certain goals and I might intermittently throughout the, um, out this giveaway month or this bi-monthly, bi-weekly, this weekly giveaway. I'm not sure. Yeah. Let's go with the weekly giveaway that I'll come up with other, Hey guys, if we hit this goal, then, uh, the special weekly goal, then I'm going to do an extra giveaway, um, for both people that sort of thing. So we'll make it, we'll just make it crazy as we go. But those special ones, those on the spot ones are going to be weekly. And how will you know? Then you'll need to make sure that you watch our Monday or Tuesday videos every week, because I'll let you guys know if there's a special on those videos. So here's what we got going on so far. Thank you also guys and gals, everybody that has been paying attention, uh, that has been supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. I, I mean, you guys don't, you guys don't understand how much I appreciate it because I enjoy doing this. I enjoy um, even learning new things to uh, try to enhance these videos, and I still, still having some problems uh, doing with the the editing um, and splicing different videos and getting rid of junk parts out of a out of a video, and um, I'm still still working on it. And I appreciate your all's patience. Um, so let's take a look at this. So here we go. Weekly giveaway begins on November 5th and ends December 31st. That's every Saturday between uh, November 5th, which is in just two days, and the last day, that's New Year's Eve of 2022, and we're going to be doing a giveaway. Now, how to enter? You have to subscribe to YouTube for now. And if you're already a subscriber, congratulations. Uh, now, if you have 300, if, if we get... 350 subscribers between November 5th and December 31st, anywhere along that lines, I'm going to do a double giveaway and it's not going to be some small giveaway. I promise you, I'm not going to go. Here's a, we're going to give away two 799 Reaper minis. No, we're going to do something big and that's going to be for also for the 400 subscriber double giveaway and the 500 subscriber triple giveaway. And if we get to a thousand one thousand or more subscribers by december 31st which is doable we will be giving away an angel sanguine army for warhammer 40,000. it is a massive army we will have some uh, photos up as we get a little bit closer or not a little bit closer but after this weekend i want to try to get some professional photos i might just have to take some junk photos and at least get them up there so you guys can see uh, not only the stack of pro of giveaways that we're going to be doing, but also the Angel Sanguine Army. Uh, so if you guys are interested, make sure you are a subscriber. And I'm also going to be doing a video. Uh, when we do, when I uh, do Friday's video, 
I'm gonna do a walkthrough video on how to make sure I can see that you are a subscriber. Because if I can't see that you are a subscriber, right, and you don't have a, uh, an email, whether regardless if it's a, a brand new email account that you made just for your YouTube subscription for stuff like this, then uh, it doesn't matter as long as you have an email and I can see it, then I can, I'll be able to contact you. We'll be able to arrange for um, uh, shipping items to you guys and whatnot. But if I can't see or if I can't contact you, uh, well, if I can't see you, you're not going to get entered into the drawing because I don't know who you are. And if I can't get in contact you within one to two weeks, I can't send you anything. And I got to put that back into circulation for the next giveaway. So I know that there are a lot of you. Um, I've, I've talked to a few of you and there's about 70. I'm, I'm just going to say 75. That's a good number. Um, it's around 70 ish that are just supporting the channel. You just want to support the channel. There's probably more and you don't care about the giveaways. You're just being generous. You're just supporting me. And I super, super appreciate it. So with that being said, watch tomorrow's video. We'll have more of an update, a lot more detailed update and make sure just just in case, uh, follow the links below for my Instagram and go ahead and jump on there and follow me on Instagram. I'm not saying if you are a follower on Instagram that you might get uh, included in a giveaway in the future, but there's a possibility that that might happen. I don't know. Uh, and I promise you, starting this weekend, there's going to be more and new updates. I guess more and new. There's going to be new updates. Let's just go with that <laughs> on Instagram. I'm back to painting, um, doing a lot of physical therapy. I've got uh, compression gloves for the arthritis in my hands. I got a new pair of glasses. I can see uh, things are going to start turning around for painting. I get to get back into the groove. So I'm excited about that. Anyways, enough about that. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. And let's see if we can hit that thousand subscriber mark. And bye the end of the year. Anyways, you guys have yourself a great day and I'll chat with you later. See ya.